Hey YouTube, Midwest Fishing Guys here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple soft plastic lure reviews and uh, a couple crankbaits. Sorry I haven't been posting um, in a while, it's because I've been really caught up with school and uh, a lot of tests to study for, but you know, I should be posting me and Omar regularly every week, so sorry it's been a couple, two weeks delay. Uh, so let's get on with the video. So the first bait I want to show you guys is this new uh, soft plastic I picked up at the Chicago Land Outdoor Expo. It's a river to sea um, Japanese style crankbait as you can see on the back. It's got Japanese writing. Uh, this bait has a lot of action and I'm looking forward to using this in spring. So I'll show you guys in the water. I'll give you a close up look actually. As you can see look at, look at how much detail it has. Those eyes right there. And then I have this on a Texas rig style. So I have my sinker I just have the swivel on for so I can switch baits quicker, but drop it in the water. He said, yeah, um, you want to give it a motion, like a crawfish jumping up and down, so you get the fish's attention, and then you stop for a little, and the pinchers fly up. So I think that's pretty cute. Oh, uh, here we go. That's pretty cool, because it's like a crawfish defending himself with his pinchers, and that will cause a, a good reaction strike. Uh, it's in um, it's in a watermelon green and uh, blue flake color, and the flakes just stand out incredibly in the uh, sunlight. So I have a light going on here to re represent the sunlight, and it has really good re reflection. So that was uh one of the baits I'm gonna be showing you. Here, another look at it. Camera focus. Just a lot of detail right there. Really durable. So because. <laughs> The hook is already mounted into the bait, so you don't have to tear it up. So, this bait's going to last me a while. And, uh, another soft plastic, the second soft plastic I'll be showing you is the um, is a F2 series from Yum. It's uh, the Mighty Bug and Kanjin Neon, uh, 3.75 inches. And, uh, it's in the... A watermelon flake, uh, like the other one, but it has the red flakes instead of the blue. And I'll be showing you guys that one in a second. This bait, this bait's really good because this is also has a lot of reflection in the light from the sun. So here's here's the bait up close. Texas rig. This one you do have to rig yourself. I'll show you right here. Let me. Get, I can't get the camera focus. Sorry about that. But uh, right there, it's a good close up of it. And here it is in the water, so let me drop this in. This one doesn't really have a lot of action like the other one. Uh, you have to do more with it by yourself. And um, this uh, shows a true fisherman right here having to work a crawfish. But um, I just want to show you how much um, light will pass through this bait and show the f um, the flakes in the bait so you focus the camera right there and then you know you do it like the same way except you have to do a little bit more action to make it look a little bit more alive unlike the other one but the flakes that's what causes the reaction strike look at how bright those shine I've used this bait a couple times already and it's still doing good they're very durable so Another close up of it. Right there. Alright. And then, uh, moving on to our, uh, crankbaits part of the portion. Let me just unrig this real quick from the swivel. Uh, I want to be showing you guys two of my personal favorite lures. Is the Kevin Van Dam series lures. This one's in, uh, uh, I want to say this one's the sexy shad one right here this one this one's the long bill um, uh, I personally love these lures because of how much action and how much vibration there is because you can feel this on your pole while you're like it feels like your pole is vibrating so this one floats so you know you can let it go down and up and uh, I don't know if I have enough room to show you guys, but you can see he has a lot of action. Can't really show you. But yeah, 
this one and I also I'll show you guys more up close since I can't really give you a demonstration it's that has a lot of detail and then the bottom of it which would be if you're doing um going more on the top of the water when shallower this one dives deep but they have they make them in other versions also like I said it's a long bill I'll show you that all right and then uh I believe like I said this was the sexy shad one and the other one I'm going to show you is in the bluegill version I'm not sure what completely what it's called but these both these lures have very nice big treble hooks so you're not going to miss that on the hook if you do it properly so here's the other one oh. and they both have a lot of rattle to them so you know if it's at night or it's late at night um, or in the evening, look at that. Fish will definitely hear that in the water. So in the water. Like I said, I don't have a lot of room, so I can't really show you too good of a demonstration. But, um, that's all I have to show you guys for today. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to our channel. Well, as uh, soon as we can get out and actually start fishing in the spring, we'll have videos going more often, maybe twice, three times a week, depending on how busy we are, how many fish we catch. And um, so make sure you subscribe. So keep keep videos coming and keep us motivated to do videos for you because you guys are the reason we do it. So like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment any uh, lures you think I or baits I should try out and uh, do a review for you guys. All right, thanks.